Hello, this is How To Bob, and I made this video to show you how to remove and replace the front wheel on a 2002 Honda Shadow. First thing, note is the pinch bolts here, so I'm going to have to loosen those up, and I've used a Allen socket that I happen to have. You can use an Allen key if you have one. Either one will work, but I want to loosen up all four. You'll notice there's two over here on the other side, the left side of the bike. And I want to loosen all four of my pinch bolts. So once I get all four of them just loosened up, they don't have to come all the way out, but you want to get them pretty loose. You can see I have a screwdriver here. I'll put that in the left side of the axle. There's a few holes in there. You just want to hold that in place. And then I'm going to use an adjustable wrench. You can use a socket if you have one, and I'll use that later on to tighten it up. So I'm just going to take out the bolt on the right side of the bike, and I'll hold the screwdriver that I put through the left side to keep the axle from spinning. Now you'll see there's a little spacer down here. I want to make sure I hold that as I pull the axle out because it'll take off and go rolling across the floor. So now with that being said, I can go ahead and pull my axle out, but I still want to kind of keep a hold on that spacer there. So I can pull my axle out from the left side using the screwdriver and the tire will drop down and you'll see that the speedometer cable will become disconnected and swing down on the cable. So now that I've got everything disconnected, I can go ahead and roll my tire out of the way. And while I have it out, I'm going to go ahead and put a little grease in the bearings, work it in real good on both sides of the wheel. Now you can see here where the speedometer cable connects into the wheel here, there's little notches and you want to make sure when the tire goes back in like this that the cable gets hooked up correctly or you won't have a speedometer so I'm going to slide the tire back in and then hook up my speedometer here and then I can put my axle in gently slide it across making sure everything's lined up uh, lift it up a little bit to slide my axle all the way through and once I get to the other side I have to put my spacer in and I can lift my tire up and slide the axle all the way in as far as it'll go now I can put my screwdriver back in to hold the axle in place and I want to put a dab of Loctite on the bolt before I put it back in the axle just for safekeeping. So now I'm going to tighten up the axle nut and this gets tightened to 43 foot-pounds of torque and I hold the screwdriver on the other side. Then I go down to my pinch bolts and I want to tighten those up and I tighten those to 16 foot-pounds of torque. I do both on the right side and I can go around to the left side and tighten both bolts on the left side. And this is how you remove and replace the front wheel on a 2002 Honda Shadow. I'm How To Bob. Thanks for watching.